Thanks, Prandis. Animal shelters across the city are seeing an increase in the number of pets coming through their doors. This after a relatively quiet 2020 when shelters saw a boost in adoptions and fostering. WTTW News reporter Kristen Tometz joins us now with more details. Uh, Kristen, why are shelters seeing a spike now in pets to uh, pre-pandemic levels? Yeah, Paris, so shelters are starting to see uh, more people returning pets. There are citing reasons such as returning to work or moving. You may recall many people remained at home in one place last year. They were working from home. They weren't moving. More people are starting to go back to offices. More people are starting to move into new homes or apartments as well. Shelters also say people have been citing financial reasons for not being able to keep a pet is also just a lack of time in general to care for one. Right, and we're looking at pictures right now of pets up for adoption at Paws Chicago. Our producers are doing that to me, looking at those sweet faces. Uh, so how are, how are uh, shelters handling this increase in pets right now? Yeah, so Chicago Animal Care and Control is asking those who unfortunately have to give up their pets to make an appointment to do so and to hang on to their pets as long as possible. This allows the shelter to better manage its population. Meanwhile, the shelter is happy to provide resources to those pet owners during that time. Other shelters are also offering help with food and medical expenses. And, you know, above all, all the shelters we talk to, they just want people to remember even though you're not going to be home as often as you were in 2020, that doesn't mean you can't adopt a pet. They say a home is a better place for an animal than a shelter. But if you're not up for adoption, you could always foster. Shelters are always looking for foster homes, especially those who can accommodate pets with special needs or illnesses. But if you're still kind of thinking about adoption, now may be the time. Many of the shelters we spoke with are waiving adoption fees, or allowing pet, uh, would be pet parents to set their own prices for adoptions as part of the National Clear the Shelters campaign, which is going on now through September 19th. All right, a lot of animals looking for homes. Kristen, thank you so much. Thanks, Ferris. And you can read Kristen's full story on our website where you'll find more about how you can adopt or foster a pet. That's WTTW.com news.